Hello and welcome to EDCI 310ZA. This is the online version of Foundations of Education. My name is Dr. Della Perez and I will be your professor for this course. I'm so excited to get to work with you this semester and get to know each of you better. What I want to do in this video is just provide a quick course introduction and overview for you. So we're going to start by logging onto our Canvas page. When you open up this course, you'll see this home page pop up. In there, you'll see a link to the syllabus and the course schedule, as well as a course summary of all the assignments throughout the semester. And then you have the weight of those assignments here on the right-hand side. And above that, you have your to-do list. In this course, everything that you need will be in the modules. So here you have introductory materials. Again, you'll see the syllabus, the course schedule, some writing guides, because we'll do some writing in this class. And then by week, you'll see the course content. So this week, you're going to see the Are You Ready survey. It's one of the assignments you have to complete. The autobiographical nar narrative, another assignment you'll complete. This is the iBook, which we'll look at more in depth. The links for the iBook in case for some reason they don't work. Um, the introductory video and the course video. So you have all that in your week one and then week two you'll see your NISA philosophy of education paper and your content video. Each week I'll post the next week's content. I'm not going to post the entire course at once though because I'd like you to take it week by week and absorb the content information on a weekly basis rather than get overwhelmed by all the content. Um, under the assignments tab you will see all the assignments. These are shown by type. So we have snack and chats, the are you ready, autobiographical narrative. You can also show them by date so you know when each assignment is due and this is the order that they'll appear in. Um, another tab that's going to be important is the pages tab. This is going to where you're going to post assignments and also sign up for book circles which I'll go over in a minute. Um, the discussions tab is another place you'll post assignments by group. And then the quizzes tab will also have links to surveys and quizzes. The Are You Ready survey is the first one you'll be doing this semester. So let's go ahead and go back to our home page. And I want to open up the syllabus and walk you through a few things. So you can click on the link here in the syllabus. You can go to the modules, click on the link in the introductory materials. Um, I'm just going to show you the syllabus. I have it opened up right here. So in the course syllabus it has my information. Again, my name is Dr. Della Perez. Since this is an online class, the best way to get a hold of me is going to be via email. And my email is dperez at ksu.edu. Um, the course description, I'll let you read that on your own, but basically this is about the foundations of education in the United States. So you'll learn different philosophies and historical perspectives. In this class, it's going to be very important for you to be self-motivated and really um, put in what you get out. I've given you some keys to success here to look at and think about as you approach the class. They'll help you make the most of this experience. So please read through those on your own. You'll be asked a question about these in the Are You Ready survey. I'm not going to read the College of Education vision or conceptual framework. You can read those on your own as well as the course objectives. But what I would like to do is talk to you about the required textbooks. So we're going to scroll down here to the required books. The good news for you is that in this course, you do not need to buy a hundred plus dollar Foundations of Education textbook. I have actually written an iBook for you that is free and will be posted in a weekly basis on your course modules. These are some special features of the iBook, but rather than go through these, I want to actually show you an example of what the iBook looks like. So we're going to go here into Chapter 1 of our iBook. You'll see the PDF version pulls up and all the links should work in the PDF as well as the iBook version. Each chapter will have the content for that chapter. An introduction to the chapter. And then by section, the topics for each chapter. So the first thing you're going to learn about in Chapter 1 are autobiographical narratives. And if you want more information on that, you'll see there's a link here to an article. You can click on the link. If you're signed into K-State Libraries, 
Now I'm going to pull it up and you just click on the download and it opens up the article. So there are article links within, which I think is a great way to give you additional information that's more current, up to date. In addition, each section will have a your turn um, where you can do some additional applications of information. In section two, you'll see guiding questions about community of learners and how to create that. You'll see the content for that, different examples. Again, there's another link here. If you want to get a little bit more in depth, you can click on that article. Um, if you go to section three, you're going to see the identify in our strengths. So here they talk about multiple intelligences and you can actually click here. You'll see a video link. You click on that and it'll pull up the video link for Dr. Howard Gardner talking about multiple intelligences. So I really like this feature of the iBook because you can, you'll see their article links, video links, additional information for you to consider as you're watching. And even in this section, if you want to find out more about your multiple intelligences, there is a place for you to do that by completing a survey. So please make sure to skim through the iBook. Um, I have included in module one the iBook link for you. So here you'll see the link for the chapter one, and then there's additional links here if for some reason one of the links is not working. All right, so that is our iBook. In addition to the iBook, you will be required to buy one book, but it's not gonna be very expensive. And that book is gonna be used for a book circle. Um, these are the 10 books you have to choose from. You're going to pick one of these books, sign up for it, and then when I confirm um, in week two that you can buy that book, you're going to go ahead and buy that book and start reading it. Um, the book circle book options, in order to sign up, you're going to go back to your Canvas page, click on Pages. You'll see the book circle sign up. Click on that. It has the names of all the books. And then I see that we already have people who have signed up, which is excellent. So you just pick the book that you're most interested in, put your name, and then make sure you hit save. So edit it, pick the book you want, and then once you put your name in, hit save so that it saves your name like it's done here for Shannon, Monica, Jackie, Quentin, and Faith. All right, so let's now go to the next part of our course syllabus. You'll see there are going to be a variety of instructional strategies used in this class and quite a bit of technology. Do not stress about the technology. If I ask you to use a new application, I'll give you tutorials, I'll give you examples. So um, do not be worried about that, but I think this is a great way not only to keep you actively engaged by learning new um, tools, these tools are actually technology that is used in classrooms today. So I want you to get familiar with that and how you can use it in your own future classroom. Uh, course requirements, here are the assignments. I want to quickly go over these with you. The main thing I want to point out is that there are quite a few assignments, but they're spread out throughout the semester, so do not stress about the assignments. If you take it week by week, you will be just fine. So if we go to our home page, I'm going to click back here. Again, the course summary has all the assignments as well. But let's look here and go quickly through some of these assignments. One of the new things I've added this semester is the snack and chat Zoom sessions. These are going to be ways for you to connect with me and your peers throughout the semester. There are going to be seven total sessions. You only have to sign in for four. Think about doing one per month. The due dates for those, um, if you look in your course schedule, they're going to be every other week. So starting week two, we'll have our first snack and chat week four, week six, et cetera. The dates and times for those, I'll be sending out emails each week for that so you know. Um, I'm gonna base that on the feedback you give me in the Are You Ready survey, so I know what dates and times are best. Um, as you can see, there are gonna be two before uh, the first due date for the snack and chat, so pick one of these first two to attend. Same for the next, pick, one, pick three or four to attend. Basically try and attend at least one um, every two, every month. 
um, the Are You Ready survey. This will give me valuable information about you as well as what you understood from the course syllabus. So please make sure to review the syllabus in detail before taking this survey. The due date for that is January 27th, so by Wednesday. The autobiographical narrative, you'll see an example of my autobiographical narrative in the course um, one video introduction. Um, and then you will see, sorry, in the course one content video, you'll see my autobiographical narrative, as well as a link in the assignment tab. The due date for that is going to be Friday, and then you'll get peer feedback due on February 3rd. So please make sure you carefully watch due dates because it might show a due date on your course summary of February 3rd, but you have to have something turned in before that date, especially when there's peer feedback. So really watch that. Um, you'll have bi-weekly almost content-based quizzes. These are my way of checking what you're getting from the iBook. I would love to say that I know each of you will read the iBook carefully and gather all that information, but some people may not, so this is my way of checking to see what you're understanding and pulling from the iBook. There will be two Book Circle presentations. Um, this is from, again, the Book Circle you sign up for book. You'll read half for the first presentation. They read the second half for the second presentation. You'll have to March to do that for the first one, but please do not wait until March 1st to read. You want to be reading your book circle book for the next two, semesters, two months. Um, extra credit opportunities in connection to the book circle books. I've given you a way to take notes on what it is you're reading, and if you'd like to do that, you can get extra credit for it since you're already doing it. I figured that's a good way to take an extra credit. Um, the historical figure, event, or law, you'll learn a little bit more about something that happened when it comes to education in the United States. Explore that in depth. The philosophy is an action assignment is your chance to actually plan a lesson and deliver that using one of the philosophies you've learned. You'll have two philosophy of education papers, an initial one that kind of gives you what it is you understand now, what your philosophy looks like, and then at the end of the semester, you'll do an enhanced one that shows everything you've learned and how you've grown. And then we'll end with the Building Foundations for the Future, which ties everything together. So you see here is the breakdown by weight of each of the assignments. Again, do not get overwhelmed. Take them week by week, and you'll do just fine. Um, course policies are here. You need to read that on your own. Let me know if you have any questions. And then also I've given you additional resources since this is an on line class, you have links there for Global Campus, for if you have questions, and the IT Help Desk, as well as library services. So that's our syllabus. Um, you also have a course schedule here that goes week by week, tells you everything that's due. Again, make sure you watch for due dates. The autobiographical narrative, for example, is due um, by Friday. The peer feedback for that is what is due by Wednesday. So please make sure you watch that carefully so that you don't miss any deadlines or due dates. And I think that is it for now. If you have questions, please email me. Um, I look forward to our first snack and chat next week to see you face to face. And I'll learn a little bit more about you from your autobiographical narratives. Have a great first week. Stay warm, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon.